Hello, my name is Gillam Tullach and I am Managing Director and Founder of Forensic Asia. The Chinese consumer will have spent close to a trillion US dollars on residential property in 2012. That's more than the US consumer spent in 2006, the peak of their property bubble, both in absolute terms and as a percentage of GDP. The Chinese property developers are now some of the largest in the world, with the top five having assets of over 20 billion US dollars apiece. What's amazing about this growth is that 15 years ago, they didn't even exist. This growth has been funded with other people's money, whether it's debt or customer deposits, and sector-wide leverage is now well in excess of 100%, making the Chinese property sector the most highly leveraged in Asia. Affordability in China is becoming an increasing problem, with property prices in some areas having risen by over 10 times in the past decade many consumers can simply not afford to buy property anymore. Oversupply is also a problem. We estimate that over a 10-year period, the Chinese residential developers will have built enough property to rehouse 400 million people. That's China's entire middle class. A combination of a lack of affordability and rising oversupply means that the Chinese property bubble is ripe for bursting. If you want to find out more about the Chinese property bubble, please contact us at Forensic Asia. Thank you.